Hi, everyone. So before we start talking about the Libra full moon energies, I wanted to make a couple of really quick announcements. Um, I am no longer taking personal readings unless it is for the Aries birthday special until April 30th. You can still order for the Aries birthday special and you can order for the Taurus birthday special that started on Monday on the 15th. So um, I am taking personal readings for Aries and Taurus and that's it for right now. All of those readings starting today will be scheduled in May. Um, and then I will announce something on May 1st for personal readings as well. But for now, just taking Aries and Taurus personal readings. Now, I'm also still offering the one-on-one -on -one alignment coaching. And I've been asked a couple of times what that is. And I'll be doing some general videos about what alignment is, aligning to yourself, aligning to your path, aligning to your soul. By the way, I'm wearing one of my t-shirts. It says, you can move forward, you're not a tree. <laughs> and it's beautiful. I love the colors. It's a gorgeous t-shirt. Um, and you can get this on my website. Merchant, It's on my merchandise um, tab on my website. And you can also get the coffee mugs. We have several. You can actually get Everything that's on the t-shirts, you can actually get on a mug as well. So it's not limited to that. And we have sweatshirts for those of you who are moving into winter. Um, like in Australia and New Zealand, you guys are all moving into the winter time. So if you want a sweatshirt, and we do international shipping. So that's a new thing. Um, all right. So I'm also doing the one-on-one -on -one coaching alignment sessions. I know it's. I seem a little off. Today was actually my day off. And I wasn't going to do any readings. I wasn't even going to come on and do the energy update. But I kept getting this push to do it. Like I don't, I didn't even, like I don't even have makeup on. So um, I just felt this need to like do this energy update for you guys. So we're going to do that. Um, the alignment coaching that I do, we talk about how to manifest your and live your best life in the space that you're in right now. And not necessarily doing it, um, like, when you become aligned with yourself, you can become aligned with the future. When you're constantly thinking that your life is going to be better when something happens for you, you're not aligned in your present. And in order to manifest all of your desires and everything that you want in your life, you have to really align to where you are right now and be patient. And so we kind of walk through what blockages you have, and it's a one-on-one -on -one coaching session. We walk through what blockages you have, the things that um, you can do to allow yourself to acknowledge where you are, accept where you are, and then allow yourself to move forward in, um, in a way where you are not just standing still like a tree does. Um, so I'm still taking alignment coaching sessions. You can find those on my website. And um, I'll put all the links to this below. If you just go directly to my website, you can see everything on the home page. But um, so Taurus, Aries, the alignment coaching, and I'm also still doing the Reiki, the long distance Reiki um, healing sessions. And if you have questions on any of that, you can always email me spirituallyfearless1111 at gmail.com. So... I think those are all the announcements. I will finish the love readings for April. And these are like April into May kind of energies for love. Um, I'll finish those up this week before I start for Taurus season. I can't believe we're already coming into Taurus season. It's kind of crazy. So moving on to what the energy is like. Um, we have this Libra, this Libra full moon. It's the second full moon that we've had in Libra. Um, and I feel like this there's a cycle that's completing here. The first full moon was a super moon at zero degrees, zero degrees, and zero, de <laughs> zero degrees um, of Libra. And it was really, it was more of a beginning than an ending, um, especially because it was the first day of Aries season and it was on the spring equinox. So it, it was really um, this huge push forward into getting things done and coming out of, we, you know, we were still in the Mercury retrograde when that was going on. And as we came out of the Mercury retrograde and um, today, 
was it yes today mercury actually went into aries so moving from pisces um into aries so communication is really going to start speeding up a little bit more we're not going to feel so tapped down on what we need to say what we feel like we need to say um one of the things with this full moon is balancing out relationships and i wanted to talk about the alignment coaching sessions that i'm doing because really this full moon is helping us come into that alignment because i'm not i'm restructuring things when it comes to how i'm working with you guys i've noticed this huge energy shift that we've had into kind of a new existence a new era and i know i'm not the only reader that's doing this i started this youtube channel to help people i started this youtube and i didn't really know what that meant like the first day I started, I had no idea what I meant, what I what I wanted out of this by saying, I'm just here to help people. I just want to help people. And as it kind of evolved, I started to recognize that the drain on my energy um, comes from when I'm like reading, like I, I've been reading cards for people for several years now, and I really enjoy doing the readings. Um, but... I work best with people who really want to work on themselves and who are wanting to move into a new life for themselves. And the reason why I work, like that's where my vibration is right now. The people who don't know how to get started, the ones that really, really have this urge to do better and be better and live better. And I had noticed that I, the, the drainage that I had energy wise, were the people that were just coming to readings, coming to me for readings, um, getting very accurate readings, but it was like they weren't going to listen to any of the, the advice that I was I was telling them. They, they weren't going to, like I could tell them what the cards were saying all day long, but I knew that in the end they were still going to go do whatever they wanted to do, which is fine. We all have free will. But that also was a very big drain on me because I would leave the reading not feeling like I had accomplished anything. And in my life, and the way that I am right now, and I know I'm not the only one that's feeling this, my sole purpose is as a healer to give you the tools in order for you to heal yourself. And I know that I'm not going to, I know that I can't be that person for everybody. I'm aware of that and um, holding my energy in very high regard. I'm being extremely selective on who I'm working with from here on out. And um, maybe not extremely selective, but I'm, I'm, I'm um, placing my energy on a higher level than what I used to. And so the alignment coaching sessions aren't about reading your future. Because you can't be aligned to a future if you're not aligned to a present. The whole point of me saying this is this Libra full moon, the second Libra full moon, it's kind of we're just ending a cycle. Because this Libra full moon will be at 29 degrees, so it's the very last degrees of Libra. And we've got Mercury um, in Aries. Venus is going to be moving into Aries on the 20th, the day after this full moon. And Venus is the ruler of Libra. And this is very much about, yes, I know a lot of readers and energy workers are talking about how it's um, about balancing out relationships and where are you in relationships and, you know, but this is, go this is a very heavy time on, for a reason. Uh, this Libra full moon, like I really want to just take deep breaths with it because it's allowing us to become not only aligned with relationships in our life, but the relationship that we have with ourselves. If you think about it, what is the Libra card in the tarot? It's the justice card. And justice is all about karma and holding on to the scales. And when we um, are in alignment with what our karma is in this lifetime, it's so much easier to be happy. Now, karma doesn't always have to be such a bad thing. Sometimes we have karma in our life in order to heal that karma. Sometimes we get good karma that comes in our life after we heal the bad karma. Um, it's not about the heavy load that you always need to carry every single day. It's not about 
Um, but what if I don't get this done? Or what if I don't get this done? Or I'm not going to be able to move into the future that I want to move into because of this, 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 and this. Instead of constantly blocking yourself from moving forward, I feel like this cycle that we're ending with this Libra full moon, because remember, full moons are all about releasing. And new, new moons um, are, are about starting new things. So this Libra full moon is that final release of letting go of the toxic negative energies, not only with other people, but with yourself so that you can be aligned to your purpose. The energy in 2019 is so new. And I know that I've been purging toxicity out of my life, not only in a spiritual and mental way, but also in a very physical way. I've been, I mean, it's just been like purging after purging after purging, like releasing all of the toxic energy that I hold on to. And I know that because things are changing so rapidly, the only way for me to manifest things is to, to do it in a positive way where I'm taking care of my energy and I'm also doing my job where I am walking with you as you heal your own energy, which is everything that I do, right? So, and this, and it, I feel like this was a really big shift for the collective from Libra full moon to Libra full moon. Everything that we have learned during Mercury retrograde, that, that was a really, really tough Mercury retrograde. Everything that we learned while um, we had this two months of Mercury in Pisces, everything that we learned with the, the last Leo eclipse that we had back in um, the end of January, all of these energy points have been leading us up to the balance of, of every, the balance of karma, the balance of energies. We talk about going into a new earth. What is a new earth? A new earth is really about the vibration that we're holding. It doesn't mean, you know, we talk about it kind of being like the judgment card where the universe and source, God, Jehovah, Jesus, whoever it is that you talk to on a daily basis, um, whoever that is to you, they are saying to you, now is the time for you to come into alignment with what your purpose is on this planet. Some of us aren't ready for it, and some of us are really moving into that shift. There is um, a clarifying energy that's coming along, and I know, again, I'm not the only reader that's had this talk, um, and it was kind of nice to be able to see that I wasn't the only one that was that, that has been slowly shifting my energy in other ways. I'll be doing a lot of um, traveling this summer. I'll be doing a lot of um, uh, events this summer and probably moving into the fall. I want to go to the West Coast. Um, if you have um, contacts in San Francisco, in Los Angeles, for um, yoga places, event centers, you know, some place that can hold up to 40 people, please contact me so that um, I, we can um, start getting everything over that direction. Because I did the East Coast tour last year, and I'd really like to come to the West Coast this year. Um, so the shift that's happening right now is really, really big. Everybody's trying to find their way. Everybody's trying to find their footing. If you feel a little bit lost, it's okay. Um, earlier today, I was actually thinking, man, I'm really feeling like I really want to say something, but I'm not really sure what it is that I want to say yet. This Mercury in Aries makes me want to actually like get everything out that I was holding in during while well, Mercury was in Pisces. Of course, I'm ruled by Mercury, so it makes a lot of sense um, that I felt a little shut down while Mercury was in Pisces. But um, more than anything, it's like now is the time to really start to become aligned in the energy that you've been given and the energy that you've been working on. We've all been working really, really hard this year to just stay sane, you know, and I know I'm not the only one that's just like trying to stay sane. Um, people were really, really aggressive there for a while. Um, the, when Venus moves into, when Mercury and Venus are both in Aries, there, we might still have a little bit of aggression. I just want to say to allow yourselves to um, be very aware, just be super, super aware of where you are because you don't want to project negative energy onto other people and you don't want to allow other people to project negative energy onto you. So just be super aware of where you are and what you're aligning to specifically in your life. Stay in your own lane. 
you don't uh, like not everybody needs to be involved in everybody's life right um, and if you feel like you're not able to successfully remove toxic energy from your life it's time to change directions and those are some of the things that we talk about when I talk about the alignment coaching um, we discuss how to remove toxic energies from your life we discuss what it is that's really blocking you all the way back either from your childhood or even maybe past life stuff um, I know that personally for me I had um, a really big blockage from my childhood in this life and um, several blockages from past lives as well that took me a very long time to finally release and when I did it was like clarity like my mind was finally clear and I could find like things just finally started happening and it was kind of an amazing thing so this is what I want for people this is I want to be able to share how I was able to do it in my life and how I've been able to grow from it in my life um, so that's what the alignment sessions are all about. I feel like this Libra um, full moon energy is really helping all of us come into that balance and alignment with ourselves, um, releasing old relationships and allowing ourselves to have new relationships with who we are now and not who we've been. Um, let's see. All right. We just take a drink after talking so much. I feel like that was like a really super serious topic and I didn't want it to get that serious, but things are definitely changing. Things are evolving and I want to be able to evolve with the times. Um, even though I'm not doing a lot of personal readings, I'm just doing a limited number of personal readings. Um, oh, look at that. That's really interesting. I love it. I love that the energy is already like saying, yes, Betsy, you're right with what you said. Um, the cards are saying that. Um, even though I'm not taking a lot of personal readings at the moment, I am uh, still going to be doing a, the YouTube stuff. And I'm really hoping to make more videos on what it what it is to become aligned and to manifest the things in your life and to allow yourself to open up. Um, of course, we'll still be doing... Um, I'm not going to stop doing the... Um, monthly general readings and the monthly love readings I'm still going to offer those because um, I like connecting with you guys in that way I just want to be able to have time to do more stuff um, and do some more live readings and stuff like that with you guys too um, it's really hard when you're hustling and see I feel aligned I'm aligned with my life so I know I don't have to hustle as much anymore um, and that's the whole pur purpose that's the whole point when you don't feel like you have to constantly hustle to make money in your life. Um, I've been accused before in the past of only wanting to make money off of this channel. And believe it or not, I don't make a lot of money off of this channel. Um, the love readings, the extended, the 2000, or like the, the yearly extended readings, I ask for um, payment on those, but that's it. And so um, I seriously, if I could do this for free, I would. <laughs> if I could totally do this for free, I would. But that, I mean, the other thing is, like, that's why I wanted to do, I people kept prompting me to do a clothing line. I didn't really want to do a clothing line. I didn't know how to do it until it kind of just fell into my lap when things started to come into alignment. See how that's exactly what I want to teach you guys how to do in your life is to align. And the cards are saying that, this exact thing. We have um, open up, which is the four of pentacles. And balance which is the justice card and I love this like it is it's these two together are incredible because this is exactly what I'm talking about allowing yourself to open up to the possibilities that things are shifting letting the universe um, work in your life aligning to what your true soul path is and moving forward in that direction that's everything that you've ever wanted and it's not, and that's the thing is like, we have to remember that it may be everything. It's everything that you've ever wanted that your soul desires. Sometimes we don't even know what it is that our soul is desiring until it shows up in our life. Um, that happens often. That happened with me. I didn't really necessarily know everything that my soul was desiring until 
um, it showed up in my life. So, okay. So we have the Ace of Cups and the King of Swords. Um, this is definitely, some of you might actually be getting um, an offer from either an air sign or somebody who just super, super knows what they want in life. This could mean that some of you are, I literally actually want to say some of you are, the ice is melting, like the ice is melting off of your heart, possibly. I don't know. Um, I feel like some of you were kind of cold and shut down for a while. And you had to do this, but this is this is learning how to align with your soul path, with what you want. Um, and the nine of pentacles is being abundant on your own and not necessarily needing other people um, to show you that path or to be abundant. Um, people don't, people not giving back to you. You're, you're growing on your own. The nine of pentacles is saying you're standing in your power. You're growing on your own. You're allowing yourself to grow on your own. And then we have the seven of cups. So there are a lot of options that are in front of you right now. And I really feel with these options and the things that you have, the things that you have coming into your life. There is this feeling of um, filling up your cup again, not being so angry, not being so short with, I feel like the, because if you look at this king of swords, he looks really kind of angry and mean, right? Um, and I feel like the ice is melting. It feels very much like the ice is melting. And the patience. Um, these, uh, my hair is shedding again, sorry. These options that you have. If you're super confused by everything that's coming at you right now, um, and you kind of feel like you're in a lack mentality state of mind, or you're lacking in certain things, um, there's definitely... A sense of needing to be patient and heal yourself. The Five of Pentacles, for me, the Five of Pentacles is kind of that woe is me attitude that we even get from the Five of Cups. Just because you don't, it, the lack mentality that you have, you're not really lacking. Like there's not, uh, and and this is um, a really big thing. I, I feel like a lot of us are having to learn how to love ourselves enough to know that we really aren't lacking in our lives. The only way that we may be lacking in our lives is that we keep on trying to do the same thing over and over and over again, expecting different results. I know that a lot of people say that that's the definition of insanity. I don't really see it as the definition of insanity. I see it as um, somebody who a constant, like, why do you keep trying to do the same thing over and over and over again when it just makes you feel like crap? Why do you keep going back to the same person? Why do you keep having the same relationship? Why do you keep allowing the same energies to show up over and over and over again that just make you feel really, really bad about yourself? And I think that it's because it's been confusing for so long, people are like, I don't even know how to stop doing that. I don't know how to move out of that vibration. I don't know how to like force people out of my life. <clears throat> so there's definitely a need for patience with yourself and there's definitely and if you have somebody in your life that wants to offer you something I feel like a, some this might be an offer either from an air sign or somebody very very determined doesn't have to be an air sign but it's somebody very very determined um being in a lack mentality state of mind isn't going to make you believe that this person is being sincere. Why would they even love me? Why do? Why would they even care? And thus you stay single. 
you stay on your own. I feel like there are a lot of walls that people build around their hearts because they don't believe they can have it all, right? But this Ace of Cups here with the Ten of Pentacles on it is saying that you can have it all. If you align to your purpose, if you align to what you're supposed to be doing in your life and you don't allow the negative energies to keep on coming at you and and if you don't allow your negative energies the, the energies that you're telling yourself that you're not good enough or you can't push through or you can't do this or you can't do that you keep telling yourself that you're not going to get to this ten of pentacles you'll stay in the five of pentacles how do you stop doing that betsy well you start allowing yourself to believe that you deserve it all what is the Ten of Pentacles? The Ten of Pentacles is everything. And not everything in an egotistical, materialistic kind of way. Everything where you're so aligned with your own power within that you can manifest just about anything in your life. So let's see what this King of Swords is. Ooh. You could be dealing, some of you could be dealing with a Taurus energy. This could also be society. Having to hold up to society standards. We have the Hierophant on the King of Swords. This could be um, having to live by the status quo or you've, everybody's been having to live by the status quo. Or you feel like you've been having to live by the status quo and you don't want to do that anymore. You want to break free from it. What does that mean? Like, you're a certain age. You should be married. You should have kids. You should have a house. You should have this. You should have that. And if you don't, then society says you are a loser in some way, shape, or form. Which is not true because you're not a loser at all. But... Because society says so, right? That's where we've been living. That's what we've been programmed to believe. You breaking free from that thought process and allowing yourself to be abundant on your own and deal with your own energies, yes, it may mean that you lose friends from it. Yes, it may mean that some family members don't want to be around you anymore. Yes, it may mean a lot of things. But you recognizing what your sole purpose is, breaking free from society standards, can make you more abundant, more balanced, opening up the possibilities that you, there's so much more out there for you than what everybody's see in the strength card on the nine of pentacles. This is giving you an inner strength, this being able to break free. And it's so funny because the Libra energies, yes, Libra is all about Venus and love and aesthetics and balance and everything is equal and yada, 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 right? I see Libra as an extremely independent sign, actually, because um, they do need to have that balance in their life. So they do everything that they can in order to get along with everybody. But a lot of times that means that they're on their own. Because they're getting along with everybody. I mean, Libra can have a lot of friends, but not a lot of really deep acquaintances. I mean, not a lot of really deep soul friends, just a lot of acquaintances. So this full moon is making you see where you are allowing your inner strength to guide you and releasing the grip and the hold that society wants to have on you. Let's see what the Seven of Cups is. I had to <clears throat> check the time because I got to go get my kids from school. Okay, so we have the Seven of Swords and the Eight of Wands on the Seven of Cups. You cannot feel guilty about moving forward. I feel like the Seven of Swords is like, there's so much that you want to do. You have so many opportunities. That Seven of Cups is screaming. You have all of this stuff in front of you that you're supposed to be doing. The Eight of Wands really wants to get you moving forward. You're getting communication about it. You're hearing from people, 
you're hearing, you know, you're, you're hearing about all of these opportunities that you have. And then we get the seven of swords and it's like, but if I have to leave my old life behind, which means I have to leave people behind, how I'm going to feel guilty about that. What do I do? And you can't feel guilty about being strong enough to have your own path. How do you get out of the five of pentacles? You allow yourself to stand up for yourself. And you believe that you can have more than just five pentacles. You want to get to the ten. But you are, you're the first step. You have to believe it first. And if you keep yourself in situations or you keep yourself around people, or you keep doing the same thing over and over and over again, that's making you see stay still if you keep giving your energy to being stuck the six of pentacles and the two of wands that's how you stay in the five of pentacles if you keep telling yourself that you're a bad person because you need to venture off in a new direction or if you keep telling yourself that you don't have that you're not able to venture off in a new direction if you keep giving your energy to the what ifs of life Instead of just doing the, just doing it, instead of saying what if all the time, what if this happens, but what if this happens, but what if this happens, instead of saying what if all the time, you've got to decide to move. You've got to decide to do something different, go in a different way. That guy in the two of wands, in the two of wands in this deck, he's tied, one foot's tied to one wand, one hand is tied to the other, and he's happily talking to a bird. He's comfortably stuck. He's going to get very uncomfortable very soon if he doesn't move. And he and the Six of Pentacles, giving your energy away to that, kind of being stuck, is what's keeping you in the Five of Pentacles. Because you keep giving and giving and giving your energy to a situation that's not right for you. But you keep lying to yourself also and saying, I can't do all of that. It's too much do all of that so temperance yes as things start to crumble because they will when you stay here for too long when you stay here for too long what happens the tower shows up because when you're in an unstable situation in your life and you refuse to move, you refuse to open up, probably because of society, probably because of other people's demands on you, probably because you were patient for a little too long, that's when the tower shows up. Now, the tower doesn't have to be complete devastation. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it's just really, really uncomfortable. Sometimes it's a really uncomfortable conversation that you have to have with somebody. Sometimes it is actually having to totally relocate. I feel like this energy shift that we're getting right now is all about rebuilding who we are, redefining um, who we are, and allowing ourselves to do it in a way that Nobody else can tell us who we are and no longer allowing other people to tell us who we are. Um, I've been I've been putting up uh, a lot of memes on Instagram. If you're not following me, Fearless Intuition 1111 on Instagram and on Twitter, it's um, at Betsy, but the E in Betsy is a number three. So it's um, B3TSY and then 33 after that. Um, I've been doing, I've been putting up a lot of memes talking about manifesting your own life and being who you are and uh, not allowing other people's energy to shift you and, um, aligning to your purpose. It's not an easy thing to do, but it's totally worth it. It's so worth it because when you stand tall in your soul path, in your soul purpose and do what you know, what you feel deep within that you're guided to do. It's everything. It's everything. 
and allowing yourself to do that and no longer sitting in society standards um it's very freeing it's very freeing so on the bottom of the deck i'm just going to grab a couple on the bottom of the deck we have the nine of wands the two of pentacles and the four of swords it is time because you're at the end of this battle it's it's time to start thinking of things in a different way and it's time to start, and the way that you need to think of things and the, and the, the way the, that you need to make decisions now is getting in touch with yourself during deep meditation and quiet time, right? You don't want to fight anymore. You don't want to fight other people's energy. You don't want to um, constantly be bickering about what everybody else wants you to do in your life. You want to feel free. And in order to do that, you have to get real with yourself. You have to get quiet with yourself. You see? All right, you guys. Thanks for listening to me with the energy update today. Uh, there's just a big shift that's happening, and I feel it, and I know that a lot of other healers that I am directly connected with feel it. Um, I will have all of the information on how to um, order the one-on-one -on -one alignment coaching and order the Aries and Taurus birthday reading specials. Um, and those specials are, it's $50 off, but you don't have to use a code. I have a link where you can just go directly to order um, the reading now. But it's $50 off the one hour live reading. So it's pretty cool. It's a really good, good, good times. Um, and I love you all and take really good care of yourselves and I'll see you for the remainder of the love readings and the May. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're headed to May already. All of the May readings are going to be starting next week. So I love you all. Have a great, great week. Bye.